Hello people of YouTube. In today's video I'm going to show you a way to um, create a dedicated server, dedicated server for Counter-Strike GO, especially the Junkies edition, which is one of the best editions of um, the non-Steam Counter-Strike Global Offensive. So I'm going to show you a way to create um, a dedicated server and also along with that I'm gonna show you how to play in land mode which is pretty tricky and land mode um, it's something I recently rediscovered and it's quite quite uh, simple but it can be pretty tricky so let's start first you should have your Counter-Strike Junkies um, non-Steam installed in your computer uh, to do so, I'm gonna leave you the the web page in the description. You just download the game. I'm gonna show you the the web you should go, which is Counter Strike Go Junkies. It's Planet CSS. Here you'll see the main page. As you can notice, the 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 game is patched with the latest latest version of the game, uh, which is the um, 32.4. So it's it's a pretty cool game. It's it's in a crack game and it's it has the latest updates. So it's great. So uh, you you first have to go. You have to re register into the forum. Go here uh, into the download section. sorry about that you just click in download click here and it's gonna um, redirect through you to this forum where you can download the um, latest uh, patch so you first have to download the game we, you just click here you had the torrent you download the game you install the game then you just um, download the patch and after that you just um, download this image so it, there are like three files I'm not gonna show you how to install the game because it's pretty simple um, here in, in this in this video um, you're gonna learn how to install it uh, so I'm not gonna do that so after you install the game you you should have something like in, in the C here in computer local disk you should have something like uh, here like this folder counter strike global offensive shankies so after that game is installed you sh just have to um, download a program which is called um, steam cmd i'm gonna leave you in the description the link to download that program uh, so once you downloaded that just give me a second here you're gonna have a, f a file, only this file, which is a Steam CMD. You wanna open it by opening the CMD common prompt um, console with administer uh, uh, with, with administer permissions. So you you we gonna um, we gonna navigate through this in the console. So we go to the C. Uh, unit, oh fuck that. Once we're in the C unit, we just go to the folder I had the 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 downloaded file, which was Hola in my case, and then you just wanna uh, execute that uh, particular program, which was Steam CMD. So we just fire up that Steam CMD. And first, the program itself is gonna ask you for updates. So just wait till the program updates itself. And once the program is out, is is updated, you just need to um, you just need to log in as an anonymous user. So here you see it's it's uh, updated. It's constant constantly updated. It's updating itself. Uh, so expect an, an, an update so you have to wait a little bit so yeah 
now that that, that the program is updated you, and there you you can see that it's team common prompt is gonna appear uh, so then you just click you just type login anonymous and it's gonna say connecting anonymously to steam public success so once you're you're logged in sorry if I'm, I, I have to read all the all the steps because I I did this stuff today and I don't really remember every step so just to make sure the video is is um, it's useful I'm gonna follow these steps so once this is done you just logged in as anonymous um, you just have to create another folder in here you notice that we had a folder named hola and there we had this this don't worry about all these files they're gonna appear sooner or later uh, we're gonna create another folder which is named server I named server you can name it whatever you want and after that don't worry about these files just leave it there and a blank folder named server so once we got that uh, s server folder created um, we just type this shit we just type force underscore uh, install underscore dear and then we just place the direction of the f on the folder that we just created which is gonna be C uh, slash server slash so after doing so you just hit enter I'm not gonna do it because I've already done it but you just hit enter and once you have hit enter now we just put app underscore update 740 validate just hit enter once you hit enter in this stage um, a whole bunch of commands will appear and the server itself is gonna start downloading the server itself is pretty heavy it's like six gigabytes or something like that I'm gonna check the server itself is uh, as you can notice is 6.7 gigabytes so it's pretty heavy so expect uh, a considerable waiting time so once you you hit enter the server is gonna start downloading it's gonna take like one hour and a half to download so once it's downloaded um, your server folder is gonna be filled so once you s open server and and this is have finished up you uh, all these files is, are gonna appear so um, just be patient and do do all this shit this is gonna appear so once this is a this this has appeared is the server itself but you won't be able to create an offline non steam server yet so what you what you need to to do next is to la 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 la, la download these uh files first you want to download met mode source just go to windows and download the latest uh the latest file which in my case is 8080 880 and then download the source mode also the latest which in my case is 3998 so download these two files and once you downloaded those two files here we got them and sorry about that I'm gonna show you where do I have them in my tutorial here just um, you just need to um, decompress them source mode we just extract them and here you you want to have two folders and s and also the source the m source this the other one we just gonna and after you extracted both drawers you're gonna have these two folders you want to copy or cut them just copy them and we return to the server folder we go to uh the server folder we had in here to CSGO and inside here we're just gonna paste the two folders I'm not gonna do it because I've already done it but you're gonna have something like this you go to this config and here you'll see another folder named source mode here in source mode you're gonna open source mode config and add 
in the top line sv underscore lan space one you save that and after that you're gonna create another f another file um, here in the in the CFG uh, folder named uh, server and see if, if I'm gonna f if I can find it uh, I don't really see the file sorry about that here the server config if you if you don't have this file in here you just have to create it so you just copy any of this rename it to server and in the server file you just gonna add this sv underscore lan zero this time is zero so you just save it and you have a config file named server inside cfg so that's kind of tricky once we've done that um, okay now once we've done that we just go to the other file which is downloaded which you're gonna go to this ref mu here it's like in a Russian page or something you're just gonna scroll down to the latest uh, file which in my case is the 11 of February 2014 you just um, select which um, which host you prefer I always download from mega and you'll you're gonna find a, a file which is this um, this release 11 I don't know you just extract that and you you're gonna f have all these these files except the add-ons uh, all these files you just no sorry about that you're gonna f have all these folders I'm gonna select this server folder only this server folder you just open it and now we're gonna have these files we're just gonna have to copy them and in the server folder, we just want to have to paste it into here. It's going to ask you if you want to override some files. You just say yes to everybody, everything. So um, you're going to have this. And once that's done, the server is created. So we should have to execute this. How do we do that? So we just close this common prompt because it's polluted by, by all the shit we've done. Just open another console. Uh, with administrator uh, permissions we just go all over again to the folder where we have the server which in my case is cd hola here and you wanna um, and you wanna pass also the things that I place in the description if you wanna start a classic casual you just paste this if if you want to pass, uh, if you want to start a competitive uh, mode, this arm race, this and so on. So I'm going to start a classic casual. So I'm going to copy this, the whole bunch of line of code, and we're just going to pass it in here. And all right, so it doesn't work. Hmm. Oh my bad. Sorry about that. I was in the wrong in the wrong folder. It wasn't the Ola, it was the server. So CD server. I'm an asshole, sorry about that. And now once we are here, we just place the code, copy, and paste. Okay, so as you can see, the server is gonna be launched. Here's the server. Don't worry about uh, the line that says your server is out of date, please update, it doesn't matter, so don't worry about that. Um, okay, so we have the server, that's that's done. We have the, the work done here. Here you can change the, all the parameters of the server, for example you can change the map, type in map, uh, the dust, the underscore, oh fuck that, dust. If you place that, you just hit enter and the map is gonna change. You can change a lot of stuff. Um, um, if you wanna know what's your IP of the server, you, ha you just type status. And you're gonna notice the the public IP, which is the this one, which is the real important thing if you wanna um, have some friends join you. So um, 
and there it is so now I'm gonna show you how to play in LAN I hope this video isn't oh it's 15 minutes it's pretty long so now I'm gonna show you how to play LAN real quick so you have to have this computer with a dedicated server on and running and if you wanna play LAN with the local network say you have like four computers and you wanna play in a local uh, network then you just open this in one computer obviously and um, you just you're gonna take down the local IP in my case it's 92 90 68 1 103 just take down this IP and every other computer have to join that IP if you wanna join um, this server for example if you're in another computer you fire up the game open the console of the game and just type connect space the local IP of the server which is my case is 192 168 1 103 2 points sorry about that 2 points uh, 2 7 0 15 and then you hit enter and you're gonna join the the server just make sure that everyone everyone uh, is gonna use the local IP if you wanna make a play in a LAN just make sure you have the dedicated server with all the computers joining with the local IP so that's the only tricky part so hope you like it hope it, it works on you um, this is great because you can play with bots you can play online uh, in cracked servers you can um, create your own dedicated server and make other people play your server uh, online and you can also play in LAN so uh, hope you liked it and see you in the next video